Bueno, buen día a Totón. Uh, pues nada, una vez más aquí en una presentación de jugador. Uh, muy contentos, la verdad. Uh, uh, con, con, la, con la llegada de Amadou, en principio el, el jugador que cierra, que cierra la plantilla esta temporada. Uh, un perfil de jugador que, que como sabéis, hemos, hemos buscado durante durante meses, eh, desde, que, desde que CJ eh, dejó el equipo eh, y fundamentalmente este perfil de jugador lo buscábamos desde que incorporamos a Bryce, eh, un jugador eh, que encaja muy muy bien en el estilo, eh, bueno, con una excelente capacidad defensiva y reboteadora, con capacidad para, para defender en la posición de 5 y, y también puntualmente en la posición de 4, eh, muy dinámico, eh, que corre muy bien el campo, que, bueno, que es un muy buen jugador de equipo eh, sin necesidad de, de acaparar excesivamente la pelota, que es algo que, que, que buscábamos de, de una manera bastante prioritaria eh, y, y además con un, con un componente añadido para una incorporación a esta temporada que nos ha encajado especialmente bien, como sabéis, que es su, su experiencia ya en el, tanto en el baloncesto europeo como en nuestra nuestra liga y en el baloncesto español. ¿no? Eh, ha tenido una buena carrera universitaria, pero después sus dos primeras temporadas en Europa fueron en España, en un muy buen equipo de Le Plata como Alicante antes de ascender y, y en Melilla, donde hizo una magnífica temporada. Eh, después eh, ha sido pues, eh, uno de los mejores jugadores extranjeros en la liga de Portugal, dos buenísimas temporadas en Prové en Francia y su experiencia en estos primeros meses de de temporada en Argentina, ya intentamos eh, en verano pues que, que estuviera aquí, no, no, no pudo ser en ese momento y, y ahora mismo después de, de, su, de su marcha a Argentina, bueno, creo que hemos podido aprovechar la oportunidad y, y estamos muy contentos, esperamos que, que tenga eh, una, una buena adaptación, eh, bueno, que tengamos evidentemente, aunque creemos que que él se va a adaptar rápido porque conoce la liga. Evidentemente también que tengamos un, un puntito de, de paciencia porque tiene que encajar en todos los esquemas tácticos y demás y, y eso siempre lleva un, un poquito de tiempo, pero eh, con su experiencia y, y capacidad seguro que nos va a ayudar desde el primer día, como ya hizo el pasado domingo contra, contra Burgos, donde ya nos dio minutos de calidad. Y, y nada, darle la bienvenida y, y esperar que que nos ayuda a aumentar aún más el rendimiento del equipo. Well, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Amadou Sidibi. I'm originally from the, the Bronx, New York, but also from the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. And I'm excited to join Yeda. Uh, it's a great club, a uh, great city. Uh, I heard a lot about it from my experience from being in the, uh, being in the country to uh, playing in Spain for two years. Played against Yeda, uh, team, uh, former teammates I played here. So I heard nothing but great things. And I'm excited to be here to represent the colors to fight for the city and just just be the best version of myself. Just come in every day, work hard, be the best teammate I could be, and just do whatever the coaches and my teammates ask of me. And my most important thing is just to win. So for me, it's just to give it all I got and just continue to get more wings. I'm not here to do anything uh, crazy, just to be myself and just add on to what, uh, add on to the wonderful group that was already here. You know, like great players, great coaches, great uh, fans, great uh, organization from top to bottom. So for me, I'm just, I'm just an add-on. I'm just here to just add on and just be the best I can be and just to help help any way I can. Hello, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Tell us about these first feelings. Uh, last Sunday here in, in Baris Nord with the, <coughs> the fans, which was the, the feeling? I, it, was, it was exciting, man, because like coming into the game, I honestly didn't know what to expect. You know, I seen pictures, I seen stuff like that, but I didn't know what to expect, especially a good team like Burgos. So I didn't know what to expect. But from the minute I signed, I know like the fans have been messaging me, uh, uh, saying, uh, welcoming me. So like it was exciting. I was anxious to come in to see, but I was also excited just to just to break that sweat because I was anxious waiting to see like how the house was going to do. So I was excited. I mean, it was a great, 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 great feeling, and especially even better that we won the game. Hi. Hello. Do you expect um, to personally grow as a player here in, in Lleida? Of course. Uh, the goal is to always grow. You know, it's, it's never complacent. And not even just as a player, but as a, as a person. You know, I just want to grow as a person, as a player, and just 
learn from the coaches, learn from my teammates, learn from the people to just be an overall better person. You know, just that's my goal in life, just continue to grow. And whatever I do, just continue to grow and just be the best I can I can be at it. Uh, just a question about your experience in Argentina. Uh, not only playing, but other social issues like the language in Spanish or the people walk up to move. What did you live there? Uh, for me, it was a wonderful experience, you know, like uh, just another opportunity to grow. You know, I was somewhere that I haven't been before and I, I had to learn the language a little bit better. Like, but I spoke Spanish and I understood from my, my previous two years here. So that helped me a little bit just with the language barrier. But it was a great experience, especially with the World Cup. Like being there when uh, when they won the World Cup was it's something that I will never forget. Just seeing like the people. Uh, how they were like it was like people like in the 80s 90s crying people celebrating like the whole country was shut down so for me it was a wonderful experience just to experience that and someday i could tell my kids that yo i experienced something like that but overall i'm just grateful and blessed just to do what i love and just to be able to you know just be able to just play basketball you know is a blessed life and that's something i do not take for granted no matter what i don't take it for granted One last, um, maybe here you're gonna have um, uh, some uh, teammates who are uh, doing so well in the league. So mm -hmm. maybe you must um, adapt to them also. So how are your first impression of this team, and how do you think you're gonna fit in? Well, my first impression of the team, like as you guys all know, like this is a very good team. It's one of the top teams in the league. So for me, it's like coming in. Uh, the guys don't have to adapt to me. I have to adapt to them, you know. So I have to kind of see what was missing and just like what I could bring to the table. But from 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 the start, like the players are uh, great, you know, like good players. Uh, they helped me out. They helped me a ton since I've been here. Just talking to me, helping with the plays. So for me, just adapting is they're making the adaptation easy because they're helping me. So for me, like I said earlier. I'm just here to help and just uh, plug in the holes that they're missing and hopefully that could carry us to much, much more wins.